Hello! In this quick video tips, I'm going to show you how you can underline and justify your text in WordPress post or pages. So here is my WordPress post demo. It's a Hello World demo. And what I'm going to do is I want to uh, underline this lorem ipsum text and I want to justify this paragraph. So if it was justified, it will be in the same line in the right side and same line in the left side. And as you notice that in WordPress 4.7 and also in the next uh, new releases or new versions, the justify and underline icons are not in the text editors anymore. So they will used to be in the right side of this paragraph icons and at this moment they are not there anymore. So thankfully, WordPress has keyboard shortcuts, so it's very useful. You can read this page and I will provide you the link below this video. Or alternatively, these keyboard shortcuts are actually in this text editor. So if you are on Visual Tab, you will see this question mark which has keyboard shortcuts tooltip. If you click on that, you will see this has keyboard shortcuts. So uh, I'm not sure about this, but I think if you are using Windows operating system, you will detect this as automatically. But at the moment, I'm using uh, Mac operating system. So it says if I want to do these actions, for example, to do this underline, I have to press command and the letter U unless you have other preferences in your keyboard preferences in your Mac preferences. So for other operating system, you can go back to this keyboard shortcut page and read this. What you're going to use, for example, for Windows and Linux, use Control and the letter and etc. etc. in this page. So let's go back to our post editor. Let me close this first and go back to our post editor here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I want to underline. So I'm going to need the keyboard shortcuts comment and then U to underline. And to justify, I need the control, alt and justify, which is J. So again, to underline, I'm going to need the comment and G, uh, sorry, comment and U. And for the justify, control, alt and justify. I mean, Control, Alt, and J key. So for now, I'm just going to close it. And in case you forget, you can always click on that question icon and you will uh, be able to read your keyboard shortcuts again. So uh, I'm going to underline this lorem ipsum. What I'm going to do is selecting it. Make sure you are on visual tab again. While the text are selected, I'm going to press Command and U to underline it and as you can see now it's underlined. I'm going to preview changes and sure enough it's now underlined. So let's say now I'm just going to day underline it so not making this text underline it so I'm going to select the same text and then comment and you to day underline it. So let's say now I'm just going to justify this, this paragraph. So again selecting the text that you want to justify and then hit your Control option or control alt and then the J key and this will justify your paragraph. So I'm going to preview changes and sure enough now it's nicely lined in the right side and nicely lined in the left side. So let me close the preview page and now I'm happy with this. I'm going to update my post. So again you're going to select this text, the same text back again to unjustify it. So control alt and J key to unjustify it. And this will bring you back to the, uh, the first state. So if I refresh that again, now the nice text, the nice line text is now back to the normal paragraph. So go back there again. And if you may have this question, for example, if I uh, justify this again, and if you are seeing this, for example, let me update it. And then you may have the questions, how do I know if these tags are justified? Because usually if you have, for example, this bold text around here, if you select that text, you have this bold icon activated. But because the icons are not there, for example, because you have it justified, uh, it's not really easy to notice or to uh, to see if this 
texts are justified. To notice that, you can go to this text and when you press the text to be justified or underlined or bold or anything, it will basically generate you the HTML style code here on the text uh, tab. So for example, for the justify, this is the paragraph, usually it has this P from paragraph and then style text line justify. So if you want to remove that, you can then remove the HTML from the text editor here. For example, if you want to remove the P style justify line, you need also to find the closing from this uh, element. So for example, this is a P style. So the closing usually has also the uh, right left angle brackets and then forward slash and then a P and then the right the right angle um, brackets. So what you're going to do is delete all of this, this beginning of P style and also beginning uh, the end of the P style also from the strong, you see that the strong is the beginning of the strong, you can delete that. And also the end of the strong, you can delete that. And then hit update button. Now everything is back to normal, so it does not have any style here. If I go to my uh, post, you see that it packs to normal. It, no, it has no bold or no strong words. Also, it's not justified. So this is actually how you uh, edit your post and also to have the underline and justifying your paragraph or text in WordPress. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you next video. Goodbye!